click on plus button to create a new project rename it to loop aspect ratio 16 as 9 resolution 1080 frame rate 60 fps you can choose another settings background i am going to keep black because it looks good on the black background click on plus button select text write any letter i am going to type letter t make it centric change the font click on view all fonts search for b u n g e e punchy regular increase the font size to maximum click ok now to insert the outline to the text let's go inside the border and shadow and later we need to go inside the color and fill to remove the filled color so select on border and shadow enable the stroke click on the color icon and select this color which is cyan color i suppose increase the size of the stroke thickness go back now go inside the color and fill click on no fill currently the total time of the layer is two seconds let's increase it to four seconds by dragging the right hand side of that layer let's go around four seconds and then click on this button because then it will trim the right hand side which is the unwanted portion of this layer so as you see it's cut select this layer click on the layers options click on duplicate layer to duplicate it select the duplicated layer change the color of the outline to the black so go to the border and shadow click on the stroke color button change it to black still we see a slight shadow of the bottom layer the cyan color it will be gone if we increase the thickness to seven or maybe eight yeah you can keep it same if you would like to have a, like a shadow effect let's keep it like this or if you want a very hard uh, trims where you shouldn't be able to see anything at all then we need to increase it to seven or maybe eight i will go for the eight as i wanted the hard removal of the color of the bottom layer select that layer go to the effects click on add effect then inside choose drawing an edge select the drawing progress click on the standard settings let's bring the end to seven now you want to move this black portion at the bottom which we see here around the outline of the bottom layer like a T shape so we need to insert the keyframes for start and end so we need to insert the keyframes for start and end both of them so that the animation will happen so let's first insert the keyframe for the end and also for the start move the timeline to the first second now increase select click on the end or just move this button then automatically the end will be selected increase the value to 100 select the start now at the same time or the same second the first second increase the value till it's 90 around 90 and let's check how it looks yeah? so we have some trim loop effect but we will need multiple layers and we need to adjust the the timings of the start and end positions of this drawing progress for each layer to make it look cool so select the layer and just trim the right hand side of that layer because we do not need it 
click on the layer button duplicate it three four time so in total I will keep four just shift these to some random positions like this and let's check how it looks yeah it still looks cool but it doesn't look random because the, the distance or the length of this black line is always the constant for each layer so let's change some parameters inside the drawing progress of each layer select the sec uh, third layer I mean go to the effects inside the drawing and progress whenever you click on these arrow buttons it automatically snaps to the nearest keyframe or the end of the, the layer in case the keyframe and the end of that layer at, are at the same position so let's snap it to that position change the end value keep the start value as it is now go to the end of it increase the start value then select the third layer go to the effects go inside the drawing progress again snap to the, the first position maybe decrease here the end value increase the start so here it's more small go to the end increase the start value and decrease the end value by some amount select the last layer go to the effects and again go to the drawing progress sorry snap it to this, this position go to the end increase uh, the value a little bit select end change that value go to the end increase the end value and maybe the reduce the start value let's check how it looks yeah it, this effect looks cool to me you can obviously tweak the start and end values for all these different layers and also you can add more or less layers and adjust this stream effect of the text let's click on this layer button and click on select all layers and at the top top sorry at the top there are different options we need to group them so select first option now they are grouped click on the group and then click on these three dots once you click on it you see one option save to my element so let's say if you have created something cool and if you want to reuse it then you can save those um, groups as the elements obviously to, to make it uh, element or to save something which you have created as an element you need to first group everything and then click on these three dots and then go to the option save to my elements and this will be this animation will be saved into your elements which can be used in different projects so you don't need to create it from the crash click on save to my elements and let's delete this group click on plus button go to the elements and then group one is the one which we just created click on it it's added let's duplicate it I just wanted to show you how you can add it therefore I deleted uh, the existing group one and then and then I added it back so let's duplicate it again and now if you click on any group so first let's select the first group 
there is a option at the bottom edit properties so click on that and then you see that you can replace the text or the letter sorry not text but the letter obviously you can write uh, words instead of a single letter it will allow you or you can just write a single letter or the alphabet I mean so let's say if I write loop then the size is it's not correct yeah so it, it won't it will allow me but then it will be vertical so let's write only a single letter L for the first group then for the second group O third group again O last group P all should be in the capital letters and let's change the positions of those letters so go inside the move and transform for each layer move it towards the left hand side make sure the red lines are highlighted so it means they are perfectly aligned in the horizontal direction that is a guide for us so move it towards the left I will fast forward this video so you don't need to watch it let's play to see how it looks so okay the trims are moving around the outline of each letter and it's looking good we can go one step further click on the layers button select all layers group them together select this layer go to move and transform and then inside move and transform there is a third option which is scale click on that go to the third second and click on the keyframe button because we want this size as the final size and now go to the start reduce the size of this group to let's say this much and let's check how it looks so it gives a, like a dynamic zoom effect to the text let's check again yeah it looks cool you can add more effects such as flickering and all those things if you would like but I'm going to keep this animation like this if you like this tutorial then please click on the like button subscribe to my channel so that it will motivate me to create videos like this thanks for watching stay safe and stay healthy